Hello everyone and welcome to this special show. It's that time of the year when we start looking at the budget, where we get ready for Nirmala Sitharaman, who's now been finance minister for a long, long time, to stand up and to say what she intends to do with the finances of the country. But this time, of course, there is a difference. It's only an interim budget. It's an interim budget because the country is going for looks of our polls in a couple of months. And we've heard, as is the, the Bindu system and the, the tradition till now, this is going to be only an interim budget. We're expecting to hear something very basic about the direction of the economy, some basic voter account, if you like, on the finances of the government, and perhaps indications of what the Modi government will do if it is in fact re-elected and that perhaps will be the highlight of what we're going to be looking at in the next couple of hours. So we're going to have a range of experts telling us not just what they think uh, about the speech itself but also of the direction of the economy. And it's great to have with us right here in the studio, Ajit Gulachan, Chairman of Hindustan Construction Company. Of course, construction infrastructure being one of the highlights of what we've been seeing. DK Joshi is also with us, Chief Economist uh, of Crystal, uh, and uh, Dr. Vikas uh, Singh also with us. Um, let me just start with you, uh, Ajit. Uh, interim budget normally means that you don't have any dramatic announcements, nothing major is done, you'll wait for the elections and then there'll be a proper budget after that. So what are you going to be really listening to very carefully over the next few hours? I think it won't be devoid of some dramatic announcements. Okay. It won't be that they would not pass any law or pass the bill with those dramatic changes that they wish to have, if they are going to have. This would be more a roll call of what they have done so far what they've done for the country, where the country stands as a result of their efforts, how does it fare against the rest of the world in this troubled atmosphere around the world. And then, of course, there would be indications of what they propose to do mm. uh, if they came back to power, which seems most likely. But the fact is that... So that would mean a little bit of an election manifesto in there also, partly, right? Especially partly aimed at they, India Inc. to say, vote us back and here are the things we are going to be doing. Well, I mean, think about it, Vikram. Would you let go the opportunity to do a little election manifesto? Right. That, that's also often happened in interim <laughs> budgets. You know, you do that. So yeah. this is what the interim budget... And the other real purpose of the interim budget is you need to have finances to continue to, to spend after yeah. March. For that, you need some kind of an approval of parliament, and which is what they'll get. But that's just the, the technicality of the budget. But the real thing is what we are expecting is that what they have done, how they have secured India's economic space very well, and that they are still to complete some unfinished agendas. And that, that, that is what I'm expecting to hear.